API here. We are here today in Pittsburgh at my nanny Mariah's house. And Mariah has been my nanny for about two years and never knew I did paranormal investigating. One day we were having a casual conversation about haunted houses and she was telling me that her house is haunted and she had noticed a few things at my house going on and I did tell her about my house also being haunted. So we decided to come over to Mariah's house and investigate for her. So yeah, Mariah's gonna take us through the house. You can give us a little tour, tell us your claims. Yeah, well actually let's start in here because I definitely a lot of the time feel a lot of heavy energy in here. His grandma loved this house and uh, I have my grandma right here and uh, she meant a lot to me, my grandma Tammy. So I definitely feel a lot of energy in here and I always have with her because I've, had, I've always had her ashes. And also whenever I'm in here, uh, I can kind of hear, like, when I have all of the windows closed to run the AC, sometimes I hear people talking, but it's like, all of our neighbors are kind of far away, so I don't really, you know, it's like, but it's not, I can't make out anything that's being said. It's almost like a little bit of a conversation. And then here is where I also hear the things going on upstairs that, you know, I think, oh, maybe you're the cats, but then I look around and the cats are in here with me. So, so what kind of things do you hear upstairs? I don't know, like maybe if like like dropping something or maybe like a knock or you know, nothing like shoving or anything like that, but like little random noises, like one one off kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. You had said something about um, it almost sounds like somebody's walking when we were talking about it. Is that? Yeah, that I can hear down here because the hallway is like right there. So that I can, like it's a little bit of a, you know, and then I also think maybe the cat's running back and forth, but then they're in here with me. And then I guess we can go upstairs where the supposed drops and stuff would be happening. So up here is where I can hear the random drops and you know stuff like that happening but it's softer sometimes sometimes a little louder like it really differs and then like I said I'll think it's something and then you know I come up here nothing's moved nothing's like it's so random and I feel energy in here too you know because this was your grandparents house I don't know I loved your grandma yeah I feel her I do so do yeah. you experience anything up here I mean it's Oddly colder than the rest of the house, but other than that, I don't, I don't really feel anything up here. <laughs> How do you feel about everything that is claimed to be here? Does that affect you in any way? Like maybe affects her? Or? I mean, maybe because she believes in it, but it's it's an old house. It's making noises. I mean, it's on a hill, so it could be the foundation cracking and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what he chalks it up to. But I feel like I'm more in touch with my spiritual side. Do you believe in any type of paranormal? Not really, no. Okay. Yeah, I think for him he would have to see something to, you know. Well, you have a claim. Well, yeah, I've always uh, heard things down in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's being moved around. Yeah, down, yeah. yeah. Do you want to take us down there? Yeah. Show us yeah, what you it. think you hear? It's not really used for anything because it's small, damp, and not really the best suited for anything to really be stored down there. Sometimes I hear noises down there, sometimes I think it's the cats or her walking around doing whatever she does around the house. Yeah, I mean it wouldn't be coming from down there though. It's gross. <laughs> not for me. Not for you. <laughs> Would you mind taking us down so we yeah. can see it? Yeah, we can get down. It's not really too much. The floor, the floor is wet. I mean, we, like there's a couple things down here, but not too much to make too much noise. So the noise that you're hearing, is it like footsteps? Is it kind of like brushing? Something kind of like some, stuff knocking over, stuff okay. falling off of like the steps and stuff, like the bags over there. I don't know how that ended up down there, but they ended up scattered down the stairs. And you don't think maybe it was any of the cats? No, no, the cats don't have access to this area. Hmm. So with us investigating, what would you like from us? Um. Well, I think just kind of to see, you know, who's right, because we're kind of at a, <laughs> yeah. you know, a little back and forth here. All right, guys, let's get uh, let's get our stuff and let's get started. We're gonna start our walkthrough tonight. We're starting here in the basement. We have a K2. We have a REM pod. 
We have a Tesman, which is a radiation detector. If there's any spirits here with us, if you get close, we'll know you're here with us. If there is anything here with us tonight, can you please let us know? All you have to do is come close and we'll be able to see you. Any sign to allow us to know you're here. We heard there's a spirit that moves things down here. He moves something. That's me, I'm sorry. Okay. Move on upstairs. Yeah. Yep, let's do it. Please feel free to follow us. If there is any spirit currently here with us, again, just come close and we'll be able to see you. In this room we have a EDI over on the table, another K2 on the table here in the REM pod in the doorway. If there's any spirit with us, can you please show yourself for us? If you don't want to show yourself, can you make a sound? All right, let's continue on. In this room, we have the music box and the flux over on the shelf. Again, if there's any spirits present with us, can you please make your presence known? If you get close to any of the devices, they will go off and they will allow for us to know your presence is here. Maybe you're standing outside the door if you'd like to walk in and join us. Well. I said walk in and join us. You did. Well. I got the goosebumps. Oh, I have goosebumps so bad. Um, Cole, move your, uh, yeah, okay, I don't think it's you. I'm not, I mean. Huh. Thank you so much for walking in front of our music box. Can you walk over to the shelf? Either side will let us know you're here with us. Want to do a voice recorder? Let's do that, yeah, please. Yeah. Can you please tell us who you are? If you don't want to say your name, can you just say hi? Can I play that back? Let's see. Can you please tell us who you are? If you don't want to say your name, can you just say hi? Hashtag. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's all I hear is the the fish tank. Okay. The water dripping. Well, hey, we got something. I'm not sure what it is exactly yet, but we got something to happen. Just got to dig a little deeper to see if it's willing to communicate verbally. So we are in the kitchen now at the bottom of the steps. We did place the geofoam, which detects vibration. If there was someone upstairs with us, can you please come down? You hear something? Yeah. Do you hear like a moaning? Does I anybody kind else of, hear I that? I kind of hear it. I actually did hear a little. That's why I didn't even say another question. That's why I like, looked up and I was like, huh? Could that have been the fish tank maybe? It just sounds weird down here. Ah. I don't think it would be the fish tank. Well, listen. Because I, mean, I don't hear it now. Huh? Let's... What was it that? It stopped. Could it be outside? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Let's play this back and see. Okay. If there was someone upstairs with us, can you please come down? Show play, up on here. play that one more time, please. If there was someone upstairs with us, can you please come down? <sighs> kind of sounds like footsteps. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm hearing. That's why I was like, play that back for me. Like, like, it sounds yeah, like uh, crunchy footsteps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't hear that. Like, I even heard the it. the end or like toward, right yeah, after? Very end. Yeah. It's in, it's in the pause after the question. Yeah, I could hear from her listening. It's like the creaks like of the like, floor. So we got the moan. We got what sounds like footsteps. And we also got the, the music, music box. box. So is something following us. If there is someone following us, can you please come into the living room and join us? Can you please come sit next to Nicole or myself? Um, before you play that, I am hearing something to my right, like outside. Okay. Oh, outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm hearing like a that same like creak. Okay, so it could be. Sound. Yeah. So okay. it could be outside. Could be, could be. If there is someone following us, can you please come into the living room and join us? Please come sit next to Nicole or myself. Okay, pretty, pretty quiet. I would say we split up, cover the whole house, all okay. three of us. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. We decided to split up. Josh down in the basement me upstairs and Nicole in the living room. This was a 30 minute session where we would alternate asking questions 10 minutes at a time. The goal was to try to get any potential spirits to move throughout the house. So Josh started and asked questions towards Nicole's area. So I'm reaching out 
to whatever spirit may be here, can you please go into the living room? Can you let Nicole see your presence? Give her a sign that you're in there, please. After 10 minutes, Nicole asked questions towards my area upstairs. Anything at the bottom of the steps, please feel free to walk up the steps and into the bedroom. And then for the final 10 minutes, I asked questions towards the basement. Can you please go and touch Josh down in the basement? Give him a push. Get anything? I didn't. Get anything? No equipment. Okay. Okay. So when I started, there's no door. There's a wall. Okay. It sounded like something just completely dropped. Like big loud noise. So I don't know. I didn't see anything fall. Nothing. But it just was like, and you probably hear it on this. Please feel free to use our energy. What was that? Please feel free to use our energy. What was that? Use our energy. Our energy. It was very weird. And it was right next to me. Did you hear anything? I, I heard little noises here and there. The first 10 minutes, I did think that I heard like voices upstairs almost like conversations but it was very 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 faint what i was hearing and it didn't happen again after the first say like three minutes i did hear you moving a lot carlo yeah yeah i was moving a lot did you hear noises or conversations? i heard nothing it was dead silent i mean not a single thing i started to go crazy i was just looking at the ir <laughs> seeing faces in the stash. Where are you? Yeah, that was nothing, absolutely nothing. So after that, we decided to do an SD session up in the bedroom. Unfortunately, our voice recorder capture of the spirit box did not work. So I wanted to give a heads up on that. We usually have that captured for these sessions. Right now we got Nicole up in Mariah and Tyler's bedroom. We're gonna get ready to do an Estes method to see what whatever potential spirit that we might have captured earlier through the walkthrough may communicate with us. If there's anything up in the bedroom with Nicole, can you please communicate to her? She has a device that will allow her to hear you if you talk. Help! Is there something trying to communicate to us right now? Was this your home? Sleep! Sleep. Nicole's on the bed. Yes, she is. Let's see. I want to see what it comes through next. Donna. Donna, is that is that a name? Is that relevant? Had. Donna had. A good home. Good home. Did Donna used to live here? Thief. Thief. Yeah. Okay. We're talking to a Donna. Can you please say yes? Listening. Uh -huh. Sleep. Sleep again. So it's twice that came through. Are you the spirit that's with Nicole right now? Donna, is that your name? Yes. Oh, okay. We got cool. a yes. Yeah. That's Have it. 
actually got like goosebumps off. That's pretty cool. I wonder if any of um, you know, the family members' names were Donna. That's yeah. I mean, that would be really interesting. Do you know Mariah? Do you know Tyler? Is there something back and forth? Is there s back and forth? It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Is there something in this house right now that is sacred to you? Donna, if you're here, can you go to the red light in the doorway? Can you walk past Nicole? Water? Yeah, near the water. The fish tank. I, she's yes. Block yes. She's blocking the... Toby. Toby again? Oh, that was Tobe before. Oh, yeah. So... So there is a, a music box in front of Nicole on that. I thought she wasn't blocking it. This. Can you walk front of that, please? Travel. Upstairs. Can you do that, please? And walk into the bedroom. Bed. Yes, please. That's where we'd like for you to go. There's a lot of stuff coming through now. Keep saying, keep saying stuff. Uh, hi. Hi. Who are we speaking with? Ghost. We never get ghosts. Never. We're like Luke. That's like Luke. So three names: Toby, Donna, Luke. Is there something we can help you with? Yes. Can you please tell us what that is? If you name. 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 Do you not know your name? What? Do you want to know our names? I'm Josh, that's Carlo, and Nicole's up there. She's the one that you're communicating with. Believe. Are you trying to tell us a message? Yeah, I have an idea. What do you got? Um, so we'll kind of get this and see if it means anything to them so okay if you have a message for mariah or tyler if only if only um if you knew them can you please tell us something that that means something to them whiskey okay we'll see we'll see yeah the there's there's southern, things hanging out southern there. comfort bottles are hanging out there like display you know um, I, I was taking B-roll of that for no reason. Nicole took a picture of it. Children. Okay, that's kind of cool. That is interesting, actually. It's pretty. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not a common thing. Four names. I still think Donna, though. Was... Take. I still think Donna was at all the names. Because yeah. if, if one of those names matches up to something, it's Tyler, awesome, especially Tyler, if he, um, any of those names mean anything to him, that might be something. Kind of changes his mind there, potentially. All right, we appreciate any of the spirits that were communicating with us. Please continue to follow us throughout the night. Let's go get Nicole. so much coming through like 
so much. I can't, I missed a lot. I missed a lot of words. It was kind of like correlating yeah. a lot of the times. And then, it? then it gets scattered a little bit. Then it gets scattered, yeah. So uh, we were saying that you know we're closer to the city, so we're going to get a lot of extra stuff regardless. Yeah. So um, it, I was trying to focus on the one, the words that were really coming through. Was that you moving? I don't think. I haven't moved any more than I'm doing right now. So it also said travel, upstairs, bed. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah, it said something about water. We asked it to go near you, and it was like near you know water. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, near the water. Um, it had a lot of names. One thing it said, I asked it, you know, to you know if you knew Tyler or Mariah to say something that uh, you know that means something to them or something like that. And it said whiskey instantly. And there's that Southern Comfort bottle that I believe. Hanging out. Who knows? So maybe that's that could have been something that that's gotta be. It's got to be you. Yeah. What? And, but yeah, so that was interesting. We don't know if well, we'll have to ask Tyler or Mariah about that, but that would be really crazy if and it we did. Got a bunch of names, yeah. too. So if those didn't mean anything to them, so yep. we'll have so, to ask them. So overall, I think we gathered some information. We don't know what it correlates to yet, mm -hmm. but a successful session. So up to this point, we've gotten very minimal evidence. We did have the music box go off a few times upstairs. However, was that me? Was that you? Uh, you did mention during the Estes uh, a few words and names came through. Yeah, I don't know if there's any actual meaning to them, but we did get some pretty intriguing things. Um, as far as claims of footsteps, uh, things dropping, uh, we haven't heard anything. It's been a pretty quiet house. Uh, you know, that could be caused by fans, the AC. It could be in normal, their normal daily life that they're just hearing things. Uh, what we're going to try to do is we have equipment set out everywhere. We're going to say some of the words that we got to come through the Estes and see if anything has some type of meaning to it. And if it does, hopefully one of these devices will go off. But if not, then we'll just chalk it up to there's some possibilities, but I don't think that this place is actually haunted. Um, K2 is always going to be at a two. So anything higher than two would be a spike. It's kind of baseline two. If there is anything present with us, can you please give us a sign? If there's any spirits here, if you come into this room with us, one of our devices will go off. Can you do that, please? Any spirits present like whiskey? We did get the name Donna. Are you present with us? There is said to be a heavy feeling in the room. If that's you, can you please set something off? If we have a baseline too, there might be higher EMF in here which could be the cause of feeling that. Is there something sacred in this home? Is there any message that you would like to give anybody? Do you know who Tyler or Mariah is? I 
I honestly just, I don't know, I'm not feeling anything, I'm not sensing anything. I just don't think that there's much energy here, if at any. I would have the same conclusion, and I do agree, like we were saying a little bit ago, the higher EMF can cause that heavier feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing out of the ordinary is happening. Here's the CDI over here still. Oh, yeah. Something about this table. Cause that it's like causing it to go up to, huh? 2.3. Something on this table is on. Well, let's... Mm. Maybe like Wi-Fi I'm trying to look and see if I can... Uh, hardly see anything that... The only spot that we're really getting any type of yeah you think there's something in the basement like right above here is the basement go this way so no the this is the addition so the bedroom and this room is the addition of the original house so the basement doesn't come correct over here correct but again when they ran the addition are the you know there's outlets all around the room are the wires running through here we don't know. Why would the REM pod not go off though? Well, it's not on camera, but the REM pod has been kind of weird when we turn it on. Why don't we turn it off and turn it on on the table? Let me get try over here, nothing there. All right, well, let's test out the REM pod to see if there's something called I'm this. gonna do REM zero, temp zero, and then we're gonna see. That's kind of what it's been doing all night. It's taking a little longer to calibrate. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I definitely yeah. noticed was the calibrating. It just sat, and normally it's a pretty quick calibration, just boom. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. We got the word whiskey to come through. Is there some meaning towards that? Can you tell us, please? Is there a Donna present with us? Any spirit by the name of Jeffrey? Any spirit by the name of Toby? Let's play him back. We got the word whiskey to come through. Is there some meaning towards that? Can you tell us, please? Is there a Donna present with us? Any spirit by the name of Jeffrey? spirit by the name of Toby. Back. We 
we decided after the voice recorder session to head back downstairs to finish up our investigation. For our final session tonight, we are going to do a quick five minute session with our spirit box. We are hoping that we can correlate it with the previous Estes method that we did upstairs. We want to get specific answers to four words that we heard earlier this evening. Donna, whiskey, or if it correlates with the owners, Mariah and Tyler. Is there anyone in this home or down here with us by the name of Donna? Please say yes. Is there any meaning to the word whiskey? If there is, can you please say yes or say whiskey? I heard uh, a yes. Did you, did you? I heard a yes. Did you hear it? Yeah, ask it again. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Is there any meaning to the word whiskey? If there is, can you please say whiskey or can you please say yes? anything, please say the word whiskey. Do you know Tyler? If you do, can you please say yes? Do you happen to know Mariah? Can you please say yes if you do? If you know Tyler or Mariah, can you say their name? If any of the words that we said had any meaning to you, can you please say yes? So we're not getting any responses. We did get one yes. However, when we asked it to confirm the yes, it did not confirm. And overall, our first impression, uh, we got some stuff to happen. We don't know if that's caused by us, meaning the music box. We don't know if the words that we got through the Estes had any meaning. We're not really going to know unless we talk to Mariah or Tyler and see if there is. Overall though, it's been a pretty quiet night. We did capture something on the voice recorder. Not too sure what that is. There could be something explainable for it. We're gonna continue our reviewing after this, but for the first impression, it's been really quiet, not a lot of evidence. I don't really know if this house is haunted or not. So where we stand as of right now, we can't say the house is haunted. We did get some interesting things to happen, but nothing crazy. When we asked Mariah about some of the words from the spirit box session, she didn't say anything about the whiskey, but Donna was a neighbor of the house when Tyler's grandparents lived there. So there might be something to that. But let us know what you think based on what was shown in this last piece of info. Do you think it was haunted? Also, let us know what you think of the video, and if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.